Now, I know you're friends with uh, Rod. It's been kind of a tough few weeks, especially today. Uh, what have you talked to about your teammates and try to help you guys get through this together? Just uh, keep a smile on our faces. You know, Rod keeps a smile on his face, so that's what he wants to do. I guess uh, in terms of the last weeks have been tough, so have you have you talked to the coaches all? How helpful have they been during this whole process? You know, I actually saw my coach cry for the first time, and it really hurt me to see them actually cry because that let me know that they really care about us. And uh, I know, kind of going continuing on, uh, what kind of kid was he? I know he seems like a very happy kind of person. What made him such a great person? Just uh, kept a smile on his face. Uh, had a positive attitude every time. Never down about anything, never awkward with anyone. Just kept smiling, kept going. I know it was a tough day uh, for Brick County family today. Uh, what do you kind of tell your team? Well, you know, um, it's pretty standard procedure. We had a lot of people from this community, whether it be clergy or council, uh, uh, counselors from, from our school or other schools come in, and we made them available to not just the athletes, but to the student body as a whole. And, you know, we met this morning. We just talked about pushing on and, and, and making sure that we uphold what each man in this program stands for. We know how hard Rod worked. We know how hard each person here worked. And uh, it was a real unfortunate situation. Not something that we understand, but uh, all we can do is deal with it now. So, you know, what we've tried to do is make sure that we're available for that family, for his mother. And then uh, I think other than that, the only thing we can do is continue to work hard and, and, and try to be about what we say we are, and that's just, you know, excellence. I know people say he was kind of a funny kid, and what made him such a class clown in a way? Well, you know, he just had that natural knack for saying and doing things at the oddest moments. And, um, you know, it's like I was saying earlier, the biggest thing about Roger, in my opinion, was not only did he like football, he enjoyed being a part of the football team. And uh, people that have played this game probably understand that a little bit. And sometimes playing the sport, you have to put up with just, you know, team rules, uh, team functions, but I think he really enjoyed the process of, of being a football player.